Let's appreciate Mrs. Masharia. <laughs> Hallelujah. I keep on telling you, you encourage somebody here because you never know when, when, when the next time you'll be the one standing here yes, yes. to do something for the Lord. Praise be to God. I see blessed people. I say again, I see blessed people. I see people who are going to take over the marketplace. Oh, you are above only and not beneath. You are the head and not the tail. You are more than a conqueror in Christ Jesus. Oh, the devil that was coming for you, tell him it's too late because I see you have escaped as a bird from the snare of the follower. You have escaped. Your soul has escaped in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare over your life, people of God, that the purposes of God concerning your life shall be fulfilled. I decree and declare that you shall not die prematurely. I decree and declare that you are expanding. You are expanding your tents. You are expanding your tentacles. You are expanding your business. Sing, oh barren woman, because this is your season. This is your day. This is your hour. You are moving forward by the speed of the Holy Ghost. If you believe it, say amen. amen. Lift up your hands again. Up, up, up. Something spir spiritual is happening. Oh, I prophesy. I prophesy. I prophesy land. I prophesy capital. I prophesy singles. You're getting married in the right time. I prophesy over your life, people of God. Just like the word of God this year is fruitfulness, you shall be fruitful in every good work. Whatever your hand findeth to do shall be fruitful in the name of Jesus. You are not going to be stopped by any demonic force. Because as we rise up in the place of prayer, the will of God is coming to pass in your life. If you believe it, say amen. amen. Say with me, I'm fruitful. I'm fruitful. Say again, I'm fruitful. I'm fruitful. Say again, I'm fruitful. I'm fruitful, I'm fruitful all around. There is no barrenness. There is no barrenness. For one minute, I want you to come against the spirit of barrenness. You shall bear fruit. Come against the spirit of barrenness in your finances, in your work with God. You shall not be barren. I refuse for you to be barren. You shall not be barren in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, mighty God, we bless you and we honor you in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you and we bless you this morning. Thank you because you never gather your people in vain. Thank you because you have an agenda. You have a purpose for everyone that you have called to come today, including the ones that didn't show up. We thank you because your purposes for, for your people shall be fulfilled. We thank you for the ministry of the Holy Ghost that is resting upon us right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you because you're healing your people. Thank you because you're delivering your people. Thank you because you're giving them solutions in the name of Jesus Christ. I thank you, mighty God, that the heavens are open, that we'll be able to understand what the Spirit of God is saying to the church in the name of Jesus Christ. We shall be edified and you shall be glorified in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Lift up your Bible. Say with me, this is my Bible. Are you sure it's your Bible? Yes. Okay, let me wait for you. Please, please, please. Tell yourself, please. please. Tell yourself, Dagodaida. Dagodaida, John Cloud, is the Greek word for I beseech you. All right? Oh, beseech. Nakuomba. All right? Nakusihi. Yes. Please, this year, this year, go buy a Bible. If you have never invested in a Bible, please go buy a Bible. Look at your neighbor uh, who doesn't have a Bible. Tell them, I love you. We shall share the Bible today. But please go buy a Bible. Go buy a Bible. Praise be to God. And in this church, I encourage you to not tell me that you have a Bible on your gadget. Because we just never know. It keeps on updating, yeah? Very soon you'll hear Adam has eaten another fruit. So you better stick with it. Yes, I was, I was in a pastor's fellowship this week. And some of the pastors were sharing some experiences. Bibles are missing from the shelves. Buy them as soon as you can. Bible's in a miss. I saw, I, I wanted to post something in, in the WhatsApp group, Nikona. It's too early. Nikasema, what's in our space? This week, Dobson, I saw a Bible called, so not in King James. I saw Queen James Bible. Queen James Bible. Guys, go buy Bibles. I told you the other time, the greatest distributor of Bibles in the world is a company called Zondovan. It was bought by the one who prints the satanic Bible. That's an agenda that is happening. Go buy Bibles. Go do what? Go buy a Bible. If you can buy pizza, if you can buy pizza for 2,000, there is a Bible for 1,000. Go buy. 
Praise be to God. Say with me, this is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I, am, I will go where it says I will go. My mind is made up. My heart is made up. I will never be the same again. In Jesus' name. And don't buy a Bible for deco. Buy a Bible to read. Praise God. Chora. Chora. Mi unona yangu ni mechora. Na utaka ni kimaliza kuchora ni peane. Ni chukwe ingine ni chora hivo. A clean Bible means your life is not clean. <laughs> what did pastor say? A falling, oh, if you find a Bible that is falling apart, the man, the person owning the Bible is not falling apart. Get a Bible and study. And let me tell you something. If you're not a candidate, if you don't carry your Bible, Baba Tulia, you're a candidate for false teachings. Be like the Jews of Berea. All right. You may, let's read verse number, verse number what? Verse number seven, is it? Verse number seven or verse number six. I want us to read in the Amplified and then you're going to see it. Verse number six, the Amplified. What does the Bible say? Six and seven. All right. You're doing a good job. All right. If you lay all these instructions before the brethren, you will be a worthy steward and a good minister of Christ Jesus, ever nourishing your own self on the truth of the faith and of a good Christian instruction, which you have carefully, closely followed. Verse number seven. But refuse and avoid irrelevant legends, profane and impure, godless fiction, mere uh -huh. Uh -huh. of them. Train yourself towards keeping yourself spiritually fit. Father, we thank you again in Jesus' name. You may have your seats in the presence of the Lord. Can you show us the Kiswahili Bible? Verse 7 and verse 6 and 7, the Kiswahili Bible. As they get ready to do that, last Sunday, and before I even go ahead of myself, I want to appreciate all of you for finding time to come to JCC Kikuyu. I believe with all of my heart that God is doing something in this church, in this season, in Jesus' name. Nowadays, I'm never moved by numbers. I am actually moved by spiritual growth. If I can find people that I can raise up to be prayer warriors, the people who are strong spiritually, then my wife and I are doing a good job. Like I told you some other time, you can have a thousand members in a church, but these a thousand members are children. I want to have 10 people, 20 people, 30 people who are spiritually strong. Amen. Praise be to God. So thank you for the guys that were able to come for the two days of prayer. We were doing prayer 9 to 6 p.m., and I, I told you anytime, let me clear this out. Anytime you see us doing prayer, nine to six. If you are able to do nine to six, praise the Lord. If you are able to do one hour, praise the Lord. Two hours, 10 hours, whichever you can be. But all of us should be prayer, uh, should be found praying. Jesus speaking said that my house shall be called what? My house shall be called the house of prayer. And one of the things I've come to realize, this is just uh, by the way I'm saying, one of the things I've come to realize about churches, the spiritual temperature of a church, Minister Francis, is based on their, 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 their what? Their importance, their, what they are placed as an importance when it comes to prayer. A church that doesn't pray is a church that is dying. Praise God. A church that doesn't pray is a church that is doing what? Do you have you noticed that God, that Jesus, that the disciples rather, never came to Jesus to tell him to work miracles, teach us to work miracles, or teach us to give. They came to him and told him what? Lord, teach us to pray. Because they understood a principle here that every time this man goes to the mountain, when he comes down, he is not the usual self. There is something that happens when he goes to this mountain, and when he comes, miracles, signs, and wonders are happening. In that example, the Bible teaches us of the importance of prayer. Amen. Bishop Alan Kuna, my bishop, says, not to pray is to play with your destiny. Mm -hmm. Not to pray is to play. It's actually to, uh, to, to live your life to chance. And I refuse to live my life to chance in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, so the Swahili version is there. Kama ukiwaelezea wa, wazi wazi wandugu maneno haya utakuwa mtumishi mwema wa Kristo. Angalia jirani yako muuliza wewe ni mtumishi wa Kristo. Mtaongea kama wale wase wa huko. <laughs> Waambie wewe ni mtumishi wa Kristo. 
and I've, I've, I've ever wondered why, why do, we, do they have to use a coarse voice? Well, when him to miss wabona. Is it that uh, where is Kia Kiambo and him to miss wabona? Nila's my well, where? Semini, well, where? Nim to miss wabona. All right? Eh? Mwenye ku? Kukulisho kiroho, na maneno ya imani, na mafundisho mazuri. Ulio? So lazima ushike. Tuendele verse number. Lakini ukatae hadisi. Ulisikia, unawana si hadithi. Ukatae nini? Hadisi. Za uongo. Zilizotungo na... <laughs> wow. Wanawake waze. Ujizoeze. Yako eh mazoezi ya mwili yana mafaa lakini kushikamana na ibada kuna mafaa katika mambo yote kwa maana so tell your neighbor usinipe hadisi <laughs> amen but refuse profane and old wise fables and exercise yourself. Exercise thyself. Train yourself. Praise be to God. Let me give a recap of what we did last Sunday. We said that Paul tells his son Timothy that he should exercise himself. I was reading the book of Acts. Let me tell you, if you can and if you have time, go read the book of Acts. It will give you a contrast of first and second Timothy. Because I could see where Timothy comes in, I could see the loyalty of Timothy, including a place where Paul was beaten and Timothy was there. He never left his protege, his, uh, his mentor. Praise God. So Paul now in the prison, in the age of the prison there, he's now, he has been arrested because this account is in the book of Acts. He has been arrested. He now sends letters, different letters to different people. But first and second Timothy, he sends to his son Timothy, who is first Timothy, is, Timothy is about 17 to 20 years old. And he happens to be the bishop of several churches. So he's giving him instructions on how to go ahead as a leader. Remember, you don't need to be a pastor to be a leader. You don't need to be a bishop to be a leader. You are a leader all by yourself. Andika yo, andika I am a leader. Every single day, he consciousness unafaa kuwa nao ni wewe ni leader kwa Kiswahili ni nini? Wewe ni kiongozi. Unajua tuliharibu hizi majina. Juu kila mtu mwenye anapeana pesa ndio anaitao kiongozi. Hapana, you are a leader. Because Bible inasema aje Andrew that you should rule yourself. You should lead yourself. So if you if the the first action, the first thing that we need to understand is I should lead myself. I should lead myself. Before pastor can lead you, you should lead yourself. Praise God. He tells his son, but refuse profane and old wild fables and exercise thyself rather unto godliness. And you remember I showed you why Paul was telling the women to keep quiet. You remember? Because wakikutana ilikuwa za so, za soko. Vile marikiti ilikuwa. Wakipewa microphone ni to story. So, Paul akajua if Timothy at entertain hii culture, church itaisha. So, for the sake of time, go get the audio and listen to it. Now, for serious business today, all right? Let me read for you what I get as we are going on. Exercise thyself rather unto godliness. To understand this expression, it is necessary to know that the apostle alludes here to the gymnastic exercise among the Greeks. You remember the video that we watched? What are some of the things that you realize on that video? They were exercising naked. Yeah. Point being what? Isimushikilie, isimfanya kwe, hako a hundred percent fit kufanya kazi yake. Sindio, what else did you notice? They were not eating meat. Yeah. They were eating what? Veggies. Grapes. Grapes. What else? They will either win or die. Akuna, there was no lo losing his death. Sindio, what else did you realize on that video? They had to lay the, their bodies with oil. For which reason? Kuzuia injuries. Praise God. All right. Now listen to this. 
To understand this expression, it's necessary to know that the apostle alludes here to the gymnastic exercise among the Greeks, which were intended as a preparation for their contest at the public games. They did this in order to obtain a corruptible or fading crown, all right? So Timothy was to exercise himself unto godliness, that he might prepare for the kingdom of heaven and there receive a crown that fadeth not away. The word exercise, now I'm teaching, the word exercise is the Greek word, sit down, I'm going to be G-U-M-N-A-D-Z-O, I'm a Z-O, Gumnazo. G-U-M-N-A-D-Z-O, forget about the name, but get the understanding, the, the name behind it, the, whatever behind it. And it re- literally means to exercise while stuck naked or to exercise in nude. That's the word exercise. Apo ukwenyonona, exercise. For our visitors, let me recap and tell you, the Bible is written in two languages, main languages. It's written in Greek, it's written in Hebrew. So the Bible is not an English book. You need to get the behind the scene to understand literally some of the things that have been translated. So that's why we study the Bible by finding the root words and the root meaning. So, it is a word that was developed from the word gumnos, G-U-M-N-O-S, which literally means naked. It is from these two words that we get gymnasium or a gym. So, a gym. I realize that it may, very, may seem very strange to our minds that Apostle Paul will use such a word. But as to Timothy, this was a powerful a graphical picture. You remember the video that we, we, was, we watched last Sunday? You see the word exercise was only used to describe the professional athletes of that day. By using this word, the apostle was conveying a message to Timothy that was absolutely clear to the young man. As noted earlier, Timothy was the senior pastor of the world's largest church during the first century. As a pastor of such a massive church, he was working very hard. Nevertheless, Paul urged Timothy not to fantasize about things ever getting easier, but instead to joyfully dive into the work with all his strength. Are you listening? This may not, may not have been the message Timothy wanted to hear, but instead of falsely telling the young man that a day will come where things will get easier, Paul admonished him to exercise and to godliness. And when Timothy saw the word exercise, he knew exactly what Paul was telling him. Praise be to God. Professional athletes and their activities were quite famous in Timothy's day. So the word exercise was only used to describe the professional combat sport of boxing, wrestling, and pancration. These athletes wanted the freedom to move their muscles without hindrance, and they didn't want to wear any items of clothes that an opponent could grab hold of and take them down away. For these reasons, they exercised and competed naked. Praise God. Amen. Pastor, we're going to end story. We're to Okay? Just listen. This combat sport was so ferocious that when each competition ended, one of the competitors was usually dead. Okay? So, here, kukuwa giyati, asiye kubali kushindwa. Uye asiye kubali kushindwa, alienda kwa baba. Even the yom msamiati likuwa. All right. For inter- instance, because the actual games usually occur during the blistering hot temperatures of summer, the athletes trained in extreme hot temperatures so they could become acclimatized to intense heat. Wow. Are you getting these people of God? And in order to become hardened to brutality, they will deliberately ask other athletes and trainers to viciously beat them. In this way, now you understand why Paul says, I beat my body. Yes. All right. So they will tell other athletes to do what? Nitandike, ndio ni harden. So if, before I continue, that tells us, Babatulia, leo to naubiri na ye. That tells us Christianity is not for sissies. Yes. Yes. It's not for babies. No. It's not for throwing tantrums. Yeah. <laughs> Praise be to God. Yeah. So if you tell people to beat you because of a crown that will perish, how much more for the crown that will not perish? That is why you will notice, let me pause, let me talk to you guys. That's why you will notice when you want to pray, a headache comes in. Yeah. Yeah. But you should exercise yourself. Yeah. 
you will pray even when you're sick. Amen. When we were in that other place, there is a time grace. I was super sick. My wife, Akambo, I go to be admitted. I told the doctor, me, I cannot be admitted. Tomorrow I'm preaching. The doctor is like, you should go rest. You are not in a good shape. I came that Sunday. Nilikuja nimeva mahud. Nimeva kamse wa kuenda. Kama eskimo. I was... I was actually trying to get to, to those steps, pole pole. Praise God. I preached a song. A serious storm. Yeah. Naniki preach, it's like the body will adjust. Wakati didn't say, and now may the grace, ilikuja dabo dabo. I didn't know how I got home. Because Christianity, you cannot be giving excuses. Yeah. You can't be giving excuses. At why are you not praying? Sina job, ni meomba job, aikuji. You're still a child. Praise God. Amen. You're still a child. Go read the book of Acts. This man called Paul, Ali Pigo na Chuma, Marakada, Oja Pigo na Chuma. Yes. Ali Ziko na Bricks. Yes. The disciples were in Fuata. Go read the book of Acts. Wali in Fuata, Wakona metokia kwa Bricks hivi. Akaendelea kwa Ubiri. Oh, kipigo nya hunyo iyo. Iyo, ata wezi kuja kesho church. Tell yourself, exercise yourself. I'm, I'm yet to go for the gym, but me, I don't go for gym because. The Holy Spirit has a way of gymming me. Me yes. ukata tu, akini ambia, kitaka ni kata nda kata. But, ebu angalia yi train of thought. Ebu angalia Andrew vile squeezy ya kwa. Andrew wa mejaza yo, cheki Andrew. Andrew wa mejaza squeezy. Sindio? I am sure Andrew, ukienda uinua hizo chuma, ikuwa gitamu, ni tamu. Ukienza kuinua chuma, si tamu. Ukiinua kesho kutwa, si tamu. Alafu tapata lactic acid, si tamu. Ilo unaza kutembea ni kama ume. You know, but we can only see results after pain. Yes. So some pain is, you shouldn't pray it out. Oh God, where am I going? You shouldn't pray some pain away. Kuna uchungu ingine unapitia kwa life, ofai kuyomba yende, iyo ndo inakuharden. Because I, I tell you the truth, we are getting into generations or into system, or into people who are sissies. Tuko na wakristo wa sisi, spaghetti-legged believers. Pastor leo kona ukali, juu ni mevaa bagandi, suti ya bagandi. I have to tell you this the way they are. Praise be to God. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. We have believers, wakishekio hivi kidogo, you are running to Egypt faster than you came. Ukitisho tu hivi kidogo, unataka kuenda kutafuta sponyo. Ukitisho tu hivi kidogo na life, oh, siji mungu wangu, wewaju wa sababu, exercise yourself. Praise be to God. Amen. Tuendele. Tuendele ni wasome kitu wapo. So, Paul was telling his young minister, don't run from the challenges before you, or spend your time hoping to find an easier route. Akunaga shortcut kwa Christianity. Please. Akuna shortcut. Kama yesu alilipa garama. Ata we uta. Si alisema kila mtu wa bebe msalaba. <laughs> si muliambio hivo. Kila mtu anafaa bebe yake. Akunaga nyue. Angalia jirani yako muambe. Mwenye likuambia ukristo ni nyue. Alikudanganya. Kutile nyue. Nyue nyemebaki ni kukinyesha utereze pale. And I pray utatereza in Jesus name. Hakuna unyue. Bwana sifuwe sana. Baba Tulia, I know you know some of these things. If you want to make a metal harder, what do you do? You add another one that is resistant to heat to make an alloy. Muna fikiria sikufanya physics? So kisikia gari na ikona alloy rims. It means it's not a pure metal. It's a mixture of two or different metals for it, for it to be heat resistant. Umenipata? Sasa wewe hata wewe lazima upitishwe kwa moto ndio kuwe heat Lazima. Lazima. Wewe unasema una, unakujaga hapa unasema Mungu nitumie. Wewe unafikiria hata tumia kitu aja, aja bonyeza bonyeza hivi. Eh? Tuongee ukweli. Tuongee ukweli. Yes. Ni kitu gani tamu nyama ijapikwa ama yenye imepikwa? Yes. Wewe kwa nini unataka kutupea nyama ijapikwa? We unataka tukule nyama nyama ijapiko na tu, tukule na mind, mindset ya ni tamu. You try eating nyama that is not cooked or half cooked. It's not nice. Si ni kweli? Tell yourself exercise yourself. At now you want to draw back. Unataka ku backslide juu uko 40 na hakuna msemeye kukatia. 
you're backsliding. <laughs> Tell your sister girl, exercise yourself. Exercise yourself. Here. Yeah. Yeah. Watch a mungu wa kuhunde, God a finished product. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> Janet. Janet, you love these things, eh? <laughs> don't be average. Tell your neighbor, don't be average. Don't be average. Praise be to God. Yeah. Uta realize, ukisema, leo ninenda prayer center. Iyo ndiyo siku siju mtoto akona fever. Tonge. Iyo ndiyo siju siju mbwana liyamua aje. Siku yu ndiyo anataka umpike chipo, chapo wazijuani. Na ndiyo unafua kuenda prayer center. These things are for you to exercise. 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 Bible inasema, for the joy that was set before him. He did what? He endured. What is that? Exercising. He endured the cross. Despising the shame. When you apply job, ukafutwa. Unasema, ah, no. You are not among those that give up. Praise be to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, I will encourage you, if you want to understand leadership, it's good you read John Maxwell books, Ken. And all these other great men of God. But if I were you, write this down. If I were you, go and read First and Second Samuel, First and Second Chronicles, First and Second Timothy. Nimesema First and Second Samuel, First and Second Chronicles, First and Second Kings, First and Second Timothy. It will show you how to be a leader. It will show you everything you need to understand matters leadership from a spiritual point of view. Then from that, you can add John Maxwell and the rest. Praise be to God. So I want us to go through some 10 things, if time allows us, some 10 things that Apostle Paul tells his son, Timothy, concerning uh, the, 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 the assignment that he has and how to exercise himself. So the first thing, you have your Bible? So the first thing you will notice that Paul... At the beginning of 1 Timothy, he instructs his son, Anambia Saniake, teach no other doctrine. So the first instruction on exercising yourself is teach no other doctrine. If I were you, I would say, hear no other doctrine. I think that will help you. Hear no other doctrine. I don't know about you guys. Let me step here so that to Saidiane. I don't know about you guys, but uh, because of my tech background, I usually get the latest news when it happens. I can get notification of anything anywhere in the world as it happens. That's a tech background. But this week, I was, I won't say I was flabbergasted. I'll just say I was just disappointed. When I saw one man who purports to be a man of God on TikTok, I know you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and this man, a mshirika, yani mshirika has the audacity, kukuja kuambia mchungaji ya memletea zawadi, Daniel Zawadi, there were funny things. There was a remish, and then he tells the, the mchungaji not to, you know. And then there was a packet of CDs, and then there was, a part, uh, there was another thing. And the mchungaji is there laughing, enjoying. And the washirikas are, yeah, le, 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 le. I'm like, what? What? Like a thousand washirikas, you're shangiliari. What have you reduced church into? But anyway, Paul had said, he says in 1 Timothy, let's go back there. He says in 1 Timothy, let's begin from verse number 2. 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse number 2. We are going to read together one to go. What does it say? 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse number 2. In a semanini, let me read for you. Uh -huh. What does it say? Can get a microphone? All right, it's there, it's there, it's there. And to Timothy, my own son, in the faith. So you see, for people who argue about fatherhood <laughs> and sonship, you see Paul calls his son, Timothy, his son, by faith. All right? That's for another time. Let's continue reading. One to go. Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father and Jesus our Lord. All right? As I urge you, you are says, as I urge you, the King James says, as I besought thee to abide still at Ephesus, when I went into Macedonia, this is an account of Acts, 10, Acts 19 to 20 something there. Do your story in happen Apa. Ukisoma. That's why go read Acts. Huh? So one, two, go. Show us, show us the New King James and your Mvaka Ken are going the same page. Can get a mic? Read. Mine is King James. 
as I besought thee, I, as I urged you when I went into Macedonia, remain in Ephesus that you may charge some that they teach no other doctrine. They teach no other doctrine. So Paul is telling his son Timothy Ken that charge people not to teach any other doctrine. Don't preach what I did not teach you. Praise be to God. Amen. And this story if you read the book of Acts, Paul had a very big contention between his doctrine and the Jews. His doctrine and the far you see and the sad you see. So he tells them, don't allow them to introduce any other doctrine. So pastor, what was the doctrine of Paul? I'm glad you asked. 1 Corinthians 15. 1 Corinthians 15. Usitoy yoko screen. Can get to us. 1 Corinthians 15. Yes. First Corinthians 15. And then Mr. Francis, get a microphone. Romans 16, 25. All right. So we begin with you, Ken. What was the doctrine of Apostle Paul? Moreover, moreover, brethren, mm -hmm. I declare to you the gospel which I preach to you, which uh -huh. also you received uh -huh. and in which you stand. And in which you stand. Uh -huh. By which also. By you which are also. Saved. Slowly. By which also you are saved. So the doctrine that Paul is preaching is the doctrine that makes people to stand. Amen. That's what he's introducing. Yeah. And then he says what? By which also you are saved. By which also you are saved. So the doctrine that Paul is preaching makes you stand, makes you to, what's the other thing? It saves. makes you to stand and it saves you. It saves you Let's yeah. see what's the doctrine. If you hold fast that word which I preached to you. If you hold fast that word which I preached to you. Okay, let's go. Unless continue. you believed in vain. Unless you believed in vain. For I de de delivered to you, uh -huh. first of all, uh -huh. that which I also received. All right. That Christ uh -huh. died for our sins. According? According to the scriptures. So what was the message of Paul? First, Christ died for my sins. Mm -hmm. According to the gospel. Yes. And then? And that he was buried. And that he was buried. And that he, he rose, rose again. again. The, so the doctrine of Paul was never to be preached in Easter. Mm -hmm. yeah. wow. Injilia Paulo, I could go injilia Easter. It go injilia kila siku. So usichoke kuskia injilia nani? Usichoke kuskia nini? Injilia Christo. Nasema, mutan na muta ongea. Ama ni chukwe sausage zangu. Nasema hivi, usichoke kuskia nini injili. Injili ni nini? Alikufa, akazikwa. This week, Mrs. Gabriel tulipatana nae, alikuwa naniambia, and I loved it, that she has been preaching to her place, of, her marketplace. Whatever she hears about the gospel, and end and I share. So I met that lady that she has been sharing with. And the lady was like, hey, that, that word blesses my heart. Amen. The only word that blesses people is the gospel. Amen. That's why Paul and Isema, I am, I am, I'm praying that Nikienda mutabaki na the simplicity, the simplicity, the simplicity of Christ. So which doctrine was Paul's doctrine? Christ died, he was buried, he rose. So he tells his son Timothy, usiubiri kitu ingine, except ile nilikufunza. Bona sifuwe sana. Usilete, inaita waje? Kifagio, tufukuze mfokara, iyo si injili. Bwana sifuwe sana. Kukunyo anointing oil, si injili. Praise God. Amen. Romans 16, 25. Inasema nini? Now to him that is of power to uh -huh. establish you according to my gospel. According to my gospel. So the gospel of Paul establishes you. And the gospel of Paul is 1 Corinthians 15. Mutu wakikuja kuulize, what is the gospel? What do you really say? First Corinthians 15, 1, 2, 3. He died, he was buried, he rose. That is the good news. If uh, somebody asks you, what is the good news? This man died. He was buried and he rose. Now unto him that is able to establish you, continue reading, according, according to, to my, my gospel mm -hmm. and the preaching of Jesus Christ. And the preaching of Jesus Christ. Remember, Greek na kizungu hazifuanani. Mm -hmm. So the word and the preaching mm -hmm. and... Mr. Francis, to find theology kidogo. The word end in a manisha ivi. Your scripture on a fire some ivi. Ebu so many takwambia. And the preaching of Jesus back up, Christ. Back up, kidogo. Yeah. Now to him that is of power to establish you according to my gospel. Uh -huh. And the preaching Sasa of Jesus Christ. And the preaching is supposed to be establish you 
according to my gospel, which is the preaching? Mm -hmm. wow. Which is the preaching? That's how you read it in the Greek. Mm -hmm. Which is the preaching of what? Oh, Jesus. Jesus Christ. So Paul tells his son Timothy what? Teach no other doctrine. Mm -hmm. Now I tell you guys, listen to no other doctrine. Oh, glory to God. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Grace who sees them to an we are preaching portals. Portals. To nothing walls in this, you will soon entertain dark forces. Praise be to God. Meskia Jean Claude, Usienda Kutafuta was a shirin in a winner when I to Nani, Wachana now was a Uliwapata Hapo, Wache Hapo. Wana Sifua Sana, Atinili, Ati, I want to show you a mystery. Don't go to churches where they tell you a mystery. What mystery? It has been revealed. Which other mystery do you want? Na misi juko nini wa kristo muna pena ati kolikera, kolikera. You will rikera on your own. You can, you can go deeper until you disappear. You can disappear in your own conquest, in your own quest to do what? To be deeper. There is no other revelation than Jesus Christ. So ni waulise, how can you be deeper than Paul? Deeper than Jesus. Remain with the simplicity of the gospel. Praise be to God. Bwana sifuwe sana. And you know Dobson, your spirit man can tell you wakati unenda kuchezwa. Muna juwaga. And I was asking my wife, isn't it a paradox? Isn't it an oxymoron? It's a word. Isn't it an oxymoron that churches that manipulate people actually have good sound? Very full. They have cars. They have buses. They have carpets. But the churches, they tell the truth. <laughs> they are outside there, not here. <laughs> they are outside there. Praise be to God. Say with me, I will not listen to other doctrines. Siri, let me tell you, you can read one book that will take 10 years. Kuitoa hapa. Kuitoa tu. Unezaka uskize Samon Moja. Samon Gadi? Samon Gapi? Moja. It will take years to And sometimes you meet believers, they are clapping as they are praying. Is it to I told you, and I will show you from the book of Timothy. The Bible says when you're praying, you lift up your holy hands. That's what the Bible practice the Bible. It's very simple. Lift up your holy hands as you pray. Can I hear better? Amen. amen. Praise be to God. Amen. And whatever God, whatever you hear outside there, subject it to the test of the scriptures. Amen. Praise be to God. The second thing he tells his son, these are some of the things, all right? Some of the wisdoms that will help you to exercise yourself. He tells his son, wage a good warfare with the prophetic. Wage a good warfare with the prophetic. Do what? Wage a good warfare with the prophetic. First Timothy 1.18. Before we go there, no give heed. This was the next verse. No give heed to fables and endless genealogy, which cause disrupt, disrupts rather than godly edification. As you grow in Christ, one of the things you need to watch out is what Paul says, that knowledge pass up. Knowledge does what? And that's why we notice kuna watu wana argue sana kwa Facebook. It's knowledge puffing up. I have come to realize. I was a victim also. But I've come to realize the more you grow in grace, the lesser you want to talk. Yeah. You don't want to talk. You want people to see results. Yeah. Results talk. Yes. Praise be to God. Yeah. So please don't argue with people. Don't, don't, I shouldn't find you arguing on Facebook about tithe, about spiritual fatherhood. So, so, kuwa, ku, David anasema, ku, kuna scripture David usema in Psalm, Mr. Francis uneza ni taftia, anasema, I do not, I do not, uh, I do not argue with things that are too high for me. I will not bother myself with things that are too high for me. Some things are too high for you. Wachana nazo. Wachana nazo. Bwana sifuwe sana. Anasema, easy genealogies. Na, anasema verse number five, now the purpose of the commandment is love from a pure heart. Love from a pure heart, from a good conscience, and from sincere faith. Verse number six. 
from which some having so many from which have turned aside so unaona ukishinda ukikontent na hizi majinology na vitu hazi you are strain your thinking una build wewe ndio unaanza kusonga unaanza kusonga may you not stray away so twende kwa hiyo the second point that we are learning today wage a good warfare with the prophetic first timothy 118 first timothy 118 inasema nini Uh-huh. This charge this I commit charge. to you uh-huh. son Timothy uh-huh. according to the prophecies uh-huh. previously made concerning you uh-huh. that by them uh-huh. you may wage the good warfare uh-huh. having faith uh-huh. and a good conscience which some having rejected uh-huh. concerning the faith uh-huh. have suffered shipwreck to end back to the verse 18 Verse 18 anasema this charge I commit to you son Timothy according to the prophecies made concerning you. Listen, Rhoda, you don't do spiritual warfare vile ulionesha huko kitambo. That shetani anatoka kwa miguu zako, anakuja mna contend alafu anarudi. We need to understand the devil is already in his place and at your feet. So you're not fighting for victory. Write this down. You're not fighting for victory. You're fighting from a point of victory. Let's first understand that. That si pigani nipate eh tusaidieni John Cloud. Si si pigani nipate ushindi. Napigana kwa 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 upande wa ushindi. That's the thing. Okay? So, understand hivi wapendwa. Pastor akikuja ama man of God wote ushaye encounter mwenye ni genuine. Ukienda upatane na mchungaji genuine. Man of God genuine. Akikuja kuambie, sikiza motia. Akikuja kuambie you are blessed and highly favored. Amen. You are gonna own land. Amen. What hiyo mchungaji amefanya ni hivi. Ame decree kweli. But unafaa understand that the spiritual is more than the physical. Amen. Never forget that. So this is what usually happens. Come here motia. This is what usually happens. Come here Mike. This is what usually happens. So, I am the man of God. I say you are blessed, you are highly favored, you are owning land. Amen. The moment nimesema hivyo in the spiritual realm, um say amepigwa bullseye. Mnajua bullseye? So unajua ile kitu ina You know what I'm trying to say. So in the spirit realm, this man is on red alert. And if this man is the for lack of Dakubaya soda. <laughs> For lack of anything, who you know the enemy. So what the enemy does is not fight him. Is fighting this word that was spoken by pastor so that he doesn't come to pass. So devil vile anakuwa amefanya, ame master the art of self sabotage. Oh my my. So at a fight he word ndio uh-huh. self sabotage. Mm. Have you noticed people of God when you get a prophecy nothing happens in fact in a take a dial down one spiral I'm just you notice hivyo unaambia unaamka unaomoka sasa ndio kwanza unalala Is the devil frustrating what the word Praise be to God And the Bible says that the word of God is tried and tested so if, and job uh, uh, we read some sometimes sun, uh, some sundays ago tukasoma that the word of god tested joseph the word has to be tested so every time you get a prophecy the word has to be tested that's why unapitia hizo seasons za warfare nothing is happening because the word is being tested so how do you fight mm-hmm. by holding on the word yes. and saying the word Amen. Sioni lakini nasema. Yes, I'm blessed. Aikai lakini nasema. I am blessed. Bwana sana. Amen. That is why I tell people I usually used to tell people in Nakuru don't love prophecies. Cuz a prophecy is telling you to go pray. <laughs> Every time you receive a word actually in a nutshell you're being told heighten your prayer life, increase your prayer life. But wa Kristo because hatujawafunza ku exercise there we go again hatujawafunza ku exercise themselves anafikiria uta prophesy monday apate majibu saturday na layo it never happens that way can i hear amen? amen so when i say you are blessed amen i'm blessed you have had it yes the angels have had it yes demonic forces have had it yes. 
Now, what do you do? You don't put the devil under his feet, under your feet again. You, pro you pray the prophecy. Amen. You pray the prophecy. Praise be to God. When we say you have a family car, you pray the prophecy. You may not see it, but you pray. You may not feel it. Because we don't pray because we feel. We pray because we are warriors. <laughs> Praise be to God. You pray it. Can I hear an amen? amen? You desire to get married. Na kuambia heaven ilikuwa imekubali. Earth ilikuwa imekubali. Sasa unge nyamaza, you will be a single mom right now. Praise be to God. Amen. You may have your seats in the presence of the Lord. He says, according to the prophecies made concerning you. That is why we record your prophecies. Have you noticed we record your prophecies? Go to the media desk. Wambie, siku fulani pasia li niambie hivi. Nipeni yo recording. I have recordings from my pastor, from my bishop, from men of God that have spoken over my life. Sazile roda unasikia umewezo, hizo ndio unaplay igi. Oh, man. Hizo ndio unaplay, unakuwa energized. Unazaa kuziomba. Bwana sifuwe sana. Praise be to God. Like now one of the prophecies me and my wife contend every day. It was prophesied by prophet Dominic that we will get land for free. Amen. So miss you nagi tukinunua kwanza. Hata msiseme amen. amen. Si onagi tukibai. Na onaga siku moja tumeleteo title. Na akasema ikikuja kujenga resources zitakuja tutajenga wa pa 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 pa. So I pray even when you are on ballast. Amen. I pray it. Even when we are in this tent, because in the tent here, David, to end Solomon's camp very, very soon. But si chokagi, ni nakuja na maktai muku na sema you said, Father, you said that we'll have land without paying. I receive that land. I contend with their hearts. That's how I pray. It was said, Mrs. Francis, that we'll have loyal sons and daughters. Even if I, I, we have some, all of you, I am not settling for this. Unajua nyinyi leaders. Unajua chache jakuja? Oh. Eh, nyinyi mtaki ma prophecy leo. Nyinyi ni leaders. Wa ma department. Sijua nini. Tutakuwa na departments mingi. So chache ija come. So unajiambiaga I'm speaking to leaders. Church members have now come. Oh glory glory glory. I keep on prophesying. Praise be to God. What was said? Kama kulisemekana Mr. Francis your year of fruitfulness. Hata kama kuna mvua unaitisha tu. Unasema it's my year. Sikubali yende hivyo. You wage war until you see it. Praise be to God. For some of you maybe mbegu yenu inakuja December. Na inangoja maji kutoka kwa wazi zako. Mume yako imeanza kukauka. Rudi bado uanze ku prophesy. He tells him to prophesy uh, that by, by them you may wage the good warfare. Paul said, I have run the race, I have finished. Yeah. So the good warfare, nini, nini, Roda? you prophesy, you decree. And that's why today we are going to speak to the firstborns. I hope you came with your firstborn. Or even if you are a firstborn, we are going to speak over your life. Amen. Praise be to God. All right. So the other thing that he does, let's continue just a minute. Let's continue. He says, having faith and a good conscience. So you can't separate a good conscience and faith and prophesying over yourself. Faith has to be included when you're prophesying. Don't prophesy thinking it will not happen. Prophesy knowing it can happen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He says, with some having rejected. That's why Paul and Asema called the Thessalonians, 1 Thessalonians 5. Uko, anasema, don't despise prophesying. Because here he says, with some having rejected, concerning the faith, have suffered. So when you reject a prophecy in that you don't pray the prophecy, you're rejecting it. You are suffering all. You're suffering. Let me say this prophetically. I see millionaires. Amen. I say again, I see millionaires. Amen. Don't look at your bank account. I say again, I see millionaires. Amen. I see people who will be married, getting married, and you'll not end in divorce. Amen. The spirit of divorce doesn't operate in this house. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. As I've released that prophecy, your work is to do what? Pray. To pray. Father, I will not end up in divorce. Amen. Even when your house is shaking, mm -hmm. you pray. Amen. Can I hear an amen? amen? You do what? I pray. And I'm liking the fact that you guys are exercising yourself. 
Wacha ni enjoy mtu mmoja na simuangali. Sijamuangalia. Alikuja Friday, niliambiwa nilipewa memo, alikuja Friday, alikuwa nafikiria tunafanya kesha. Akakuta ni yeye peke yake na Mungu wake na na the angels. But I like the fact that hakuenda home, aliamua pray the whole night. That is commendable. That is exercising yourself. Praise be to God. The next thing he says to Timothy, pray for all men. Pray for all men. But, but today I've come to realize maturity is not praying for yourself. If you're still praying for yourself, you're still a baby. Maturity is what? Pray for all men. Oh, pastor, me says you on Raila. Oh, pastor, me says you on Hunye. Oh, pastor, me says you Ruto. The Bible says pray for all men. Pray for what? Go to 1 Timothy 2. 1 Timothy 2. Can read for us. 1 Timothy 2. Therefore, first of all, supplication, prayers, intercessions, uh-huh, be made for. So you see Paul is giving you categories of prayer. There is supplication. Go back. There is intercession and giving thanks for all men. So you should pray this way sometimes. Eh? Father, I thank you for giving us a president. Father, I thank you for giving us a prime minister. You may not like it, but pray it. Praise God. Father, I thank you for giving me a husband. Hey, Mary, I'm saying yes. Father, I thank you for giving me a pastor. Are you getting my point? Father, I thank you for giving me a superb local church. You're getting that I can come to church and people don't judge me. Giving thanks for all men. Amen. Praise be to God. Have you noticed if you do these things, you know gossip. Yeah. You can't gossip a person you're praying for. Yeah. You can't. You can't. He says, I exhort first of all that supplication, prayers, and intercession, and giving of thanks be made for all men. And then he says, for kings and all who are in authority, not some. All. all. That we may lead a quiet and a peaceable life life in all godliness and so sometimes we cannot get the peace that we want because we don't pray for people in authority pray for the governor of kikuyu praise god pray for the mp of kikuyu and i will go i'm gonna show you why you need to do that because god and asema for this is good and acceptable in the sight of god our savior he says what who desires listen to the desire of god for your governor who desires all men to be saved uh-huh. and to come to the knowledge of the truth. So, unaombeaga governor wako aje. Oh, Father, may they be saved. Mumeni pata grace. This is how you pray for your boss. Father, I pray for my boss. First of all, that he may be saved. Kwa sababu wakiokoka, mungu waneza shika roho yake. Corruption, ni waambie, ni angalieni. Usiombe ati pepo ya corruption. Hakuna pepo ya corruption. Ni men who are corrupt. So if you pray that corruption comes out of a man by them being saved, we are no longer a corrupt country. Ukiomba wasipende pesa, haita work. Omba roho yake, mungu wa ishike. Ju mungu wa kiishika ni kama Zacchaeus. Wakati yesu alingia kwa Zakayo, alifanya nini? Si ui Zakayo uyu, ule wa Bible. Wakati alingia kwa Zakayo, Zakayo alisema aje, by the yata kuna vitu nilichukuwaga hapa za wase, nifanya aje, nizirudishe. That is what happens when God comes into town. Amen. And I can show you. Let me see whether I can get that text. I was reading the book of Acts and I was mesmerized, man. I will get it for you. He says he desires all men to do what? To be saved. To be saved. Uh-huh. And to come to the knowledge of the truth. And to come unto the knowledge of the truth. Yes. Are you getting my point? Yeah. I'm going to get the text that I was reading. I was just writing a lot of things as I was reading. But I noticed something, Mr. Francis, that wakati Paul alikuwa naenda kwa Gentiles kuhubiri, the Jews ndi walikuwa na mzuia. Talk to me. Yes. Unajua nililan, Jews walikuwa nafanya nini? Walikuwa naenda wanatafuta the person with the highest office in the land. Wana muinfluence. Wana muambia, Paul analeta injili enye si poa. And from that, the Holy Spirit gave me a, 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 a template that if the devil gets the people in leadership, we are doomed all. Because they will go. 
They, I will get the scriptures and post for you. They will go. Ola naenda wanashika ule msemo nyako na cheo huko. Jews wanakuja wanasema hapana. Sasa inabidi anageuza kibao. If the devil wants to stop to not really stop but to slow down the work of the ministry, he will get a, an MCA yeah. that is wicked. Yeah. Sidio, MCA akuja aseme hapa hataki kusikia kesha usiku. Sasa there is nothing we will do. Sidio. So Paul says pray for these people to do what? To be saved. And not only to be saved, but to come to the knowledge, knowledge of the truth. So what do you pray for your president to be saved? Pastor, he's saved. Yes. Let him come to the knowledge of the truth. Praise be to God. The MP for Kikuyu, to be saved. To come to the knowledge of the truth. Your boss, to be saved. And to come to the knowledge of the truth. Wacha kuenda kusema boss, mungu toa kiburi kwa boss wangu. Kiburi yezi, inatoka yende wapi? Kama jokoka, ita, inazunguka tu, kama the, the spirits zenye zina castiago out. Itazunguka tu alafu ikipata, ametoka, ame, ako clean, zina ingia seven. Don't pray for him to, to come out of pride. Pray God, shika roho yake. Praise be to God. If, if wase wa civil servants, mungu wa kashika roho zao, watacha kuiba hizi mapesa wanaiba. Can I hear an amen? amen? Pray for all men. Tell yourself, pray for all men. Number four. Number four. Number four. Are you learning something today? Yes. Number four. All right. Number four. Prove and test mentees. Prove and test mentees. Ni mentees ama the people that you're raising. Idri Jason and certain brethren unto the rulers of the city crying, these that have turned the world upside down are come hither also, whom Jason also has received, and these all do contrary to the decree of Caesar, saying that there is another king, one Jesus. They were targeting people in authority. So in this season, we are not going to wait Baka 2027 to Naomba. God give us godly leaders. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Mm. So to end, your point in any prove and testament is 1 Timothy 3.10. 1 Timothy 3.10. 1 Timothy 3.10. Ken, read for us. But let this also, but let this also first be tested. Mm-hmm. Then let them serve as deacons. Let them serve as deacons. deacons yeah. mm-hmm. Being found blameless. Mm-hmm. Likewise, their wives must be, must be reverent. So let's pause there, Ken. So these are qualities he's giving for leaders. So to answer verse number one. This is a true saying. If a man desires the office of a bishop, so you are not ordained to, a, to be a bishop. Yes. Yes. You are never ordained to be a bishop. All you need is what? Desire. Desire. Bible in Asema, desire spiritual gifts. Now I try to break down Bishop Ninani. Bishop Ninani is an overseer. Yeah. So Baba Tulia is a bishop of his house. Yeah. Talk to me. He is overseeing his house. Sindio, ni vile sasa hezi jita askofu. But an overseer nini? Nyumba yake. So he says what? If a man desires the office of a bishop, he does what? He desires what, Mary? He desires a good work. So a bishop is a good work. Then he says a bishop then must be blameless. Blameless. So look at look at me, people of God. The, all of you are ministers. Yes. Yes. All of you are servants of God. Yes. 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 So these some of these qualities are meant to be seen in your life. Yes. Yes. You must be blameless. Can I hear better amen? amen? Blameless in this context. Wacha ni wambia wapendwa. Ukiomba mshirika pesa murudishie. Miss leo hata msiseme amen. Sweetie wewe sema amen. Alafu tunaenda pizza. Okay. Good. The Bible says you should be what? Blameless. Blameless. Are you getting my point? You should be what? Blameless. And then he says what? The husband of one wife. So one time I post a question to Ken and Mr. Francis. I asked them. Nani nezawa uliza? Ni uliza hiyo swali? 
I think tuliuliza kwa, kwa Bible interpretation. Ba wacha niulize. Wacha tuulize, si ndio? Yes. Mshirika akakuja yes. na ame to join. Muna nisikia? Yes. Ame to join, ame amekuja haku ameokoka. Then after a few Sundays ameokoka. Praise the Lord. Amen. Then as we journey with him, we realize ako na mabibi wawili. <laughs> All right? Yes. Si ndio? Yes. So number one. Does he divorce one of the wives? Bible scholars. Does he divorce any of the wives? Okay, fine. Mutaniambia kwa nini? All right. Number two, can he qualify to hold any fivefold ministry offices? Eh? No, unajua niliwaambia msiachae kichwa pale. These are the things we need to reason out. Si ni kweli? So Should he divorce one of the wives? No. Can he hold an office? No. Praise God. No, no, mumesoma. It's true. Uwezi muambia divorce. Because kama anaweza wa sustain kabla okoke, siendelee tu. Lakini uwezi mpatia ofisi ya kikanisa. Kwa sababu utaraba stamp hata Andrew aongezee mwingine. <laughs> you see how it's tricky to be a pastor. So he says what? The husband of One wife, look at that. Vigilant. You should be vigilant. Bible inasema be sober, be vigilant because of what? Your adversity, the devil is doing what? Ana hongo hongo. So you should be vigilant. Then anasema nini? Sober. Ambia ambia best yako kuwa sober. You know many Christians are not sober. Be sober. Then he says what? over good usikuwe na tabia mbaya muombe usikuwe na tabia mbaya he says what of good behavior character is very important yeah. and then he says given to hospitality yeah. wase wengi uliza pasi kwa nini nyumba yako kukosagi wase that's one quality you, if you are a pastor you should be hospitable kama upendi watu usikuwe pasi wacha niseme na capital letters kama haupendi nini Hebu niangalieni juu nitawandikia mtihani nyinyi wawili. Niangali kama haupendi watu ama tuiseme kama wase kama haupendi watu usikuwe mwinjilisti. By the way if you don't love people don't try to be in a fivefold ministry. Wacha. Bwana sifiwe sana. Amen. Bwana sifiwe sana. Na waacha niwaambie hakuna ofisi ngumu kama ya upasta. Yes. unaweza chukua mtu umlete kwa nyumba yako umfungulie kila kitu alafu siku moja anatoka anaishia na anasema vile mku msaidia hey, my wife was making me laugh yesterday night uh, as they were doing their class one of the classes so akaulizwa kukakuja hiyo story ya pastors na washirika so one bishop said that one mshirika went with his blood so I was asking my wife went with his blood aje atikumbe alikuwa hosi ikafika na need damu Moto gateri akatoa damu ndio mshirika survive mshirika aka survive akakuja sande moja na akaenda akienda so bishop anashindaga kipiga kelele mshirika aliena na damu yangu <laughs> oh god eh? eh only by the way acha niwaambie ni, ni Mungu tu anaweza lipa wachungaji Dobson aki ni Mungu tu anaweza lipa wachungaji Many pastors are very wounded. Many I know of pastors who are wounded. I know I remember of a pastor who was not even preaching on Sunday because he was very wounded. Very wounded. He says given to hospitality. Alafu notice kitu moja yenye wachungaji wengi wanahepa. Apt to teach. You must be a teacher of the word. Don't guess us. Don't second guess funza. Bwana sifiwe sana. Funza, roda funza kama umeitwa ministry kula hiyo bible funza rightly dividing the word of truth and i will show you sometime down there that paul tells his son timothy in 1 timothy 5:17 around there that give them double honor those that labor in word and doctrine can i hear amen usiwaienda church i don't know for how long maybe utakuwa na sisi But siku moja Margaret usiwei enda church mchungaji anakuambia Deuteronomy 14. Uh, inasema aje penda Yesu. Wengine wapa 
Kazi yenu tu ni kukutembea tembea. Hiyo ni teaching gani hiyo? Kenye unaongea hata yambatani na kenye ulisoma. Na uko hapo unasema yes, yes, yes. Na nyi Mungu muache historia ku, kusemaga yes ukiangaliaga hii hii ni ya huyu. Hii word ni ya huyu. Hiyo muache hizo. Apt to teach. Tuendele. And that's why we are a teaching ministry. Tuendele, tuendele. No given to no a striker. Si hata unashikikaga unapiga watu makofi. Hapana anasema don't strike people. Eh? Ati Jainara ujashika hiyo kidogo. Hapana. Not greedy or filthy. Don't preach Mary. Never. Never. Ati ndoye Mary. Never. Never exchange what God has given you for money. Never. Don't be greedy for filthy laka. I know and I know for a fact of preachers. Uliza my wife. For the last seven years, akuagi church yake. And after the speaking engagements, ndio apate do. Hiyo ni tabia mbaya. God amekupatia mahali ulebe. Una sasa mimi nishindage niko KTN. Do you know pastor has been called to KTN several in Nakata? Mimi. For the last three years, nimeitwa K24, KTN, NTV, Nakataga. Family TV. Zanini. I enjoy preaching to you guys. Amen. And I want to be hidden. Time itafika. Time itafika. Ati sasa ninawatumia link kwa WhatsApp. Pastor is on NTV. Please, kila mtu alog in huko. Share the link. You're not wise. Alafu saa zingine, hata exposure zingine, Dobson, Unaji expose before time. Yeah. Time ijafika. Yeah. Time itafika. Praise God. Amen. He says what? But patient, not a brawler. Not covetous usitamani. Zawase. One that ruled well his own house, having his children in submission. So before ukwe preacher uko nje, kwa preacher wapi? Kwa nyuma. Lead your family. Twendele. Twendele. For if a man knows not how to rule his own house, how shall he take care of the church of God? Oh, yeah. uh-huh. Not a novice. This is where we are heading. Not a what? A novice. Uh-huh. Lest what? <laughs> who is a novice? A novice is somebody who doesn't know much. That is why, for example, we will one of these fine days open a branch. Amen. Amen. Branches. Like let's, let's say a branch. Okay, branches. We will have people like Mr. Francis. People like Ken. All right? People like Rhoda. Uh, Mrs. Bernard, you know, we will have these guys going. We will have these guys going. But you will notice they will have to sit under me for me to train them. Because if they go, there will be novices. And what will happen? The same thing ilifanya shetani ya kanguka will befall them. So we, as a church, train people into certain offices. And they graduate into those offices by serving. It is in servings that, that I see their attitude. I see their prayer life. I can push their limits. Praise be to God. Amen. He says, not being a novice, uh-huh, to endele? Uh-huh. He must have a good of them which are. So, unona testimony yako. Pale, tukianza, Paula liko anongia kusu the brethren. Be an example in word, in conduct, in speech to the brethren. Now, kwa mtu wenye, sasa akona ofisi kwa church. Whether when he HOD. Whether when he pasi. Whether when he minister. You must have a good report with the people from outside. What when you are a difference. Oh, glory to God. One of our difference. Bona sifue sana. Bona sifue. Ken, may I never find you? Oh, I pray in the Holy Ghost. May I never find you that uko kwa kinyozi? Sema kinyozi? Sema kinyozi? Umeka, umefungulio shati, wana kukanda. Eh? Umefungulio hivi, unakando hivi. Eh? Ati ati nigeza muhujia roho sio uhujia wega. Unakando hivi na unasema tu eh hey, hey, you don't have a good report. It is happening. Wewe chebet siko kwa hii industry. 
Chebeta huko kwa industry. Unawakandaga? Oh mama. <laughs> hey. hey. Naona ibada ishia hapo. <laughs> Yeye yeah, anawakanda. Kwa hivyo kuna wachungaji wanakandwa. Don't be amongst those wachungajis. Have a good report of them which are without. Soma, inasema nini? Lest he fall into reproach and in the snare of the devil. Bible inasema um, uh, Mike, avoid the appearance. Not even evil kwanza. The appearance, something that appears evil, avoid it. Praise God because kuna ushuhuda ingine wase wengine huko nje hawatakubali. Si unasikia yule anawakanda? Jesus is Lord. Hata sitaki kujua anakanda nani. She's a professional I know. If I want to be candid, what am my wife anikande? Sindio? Sindio? And by the way my wife will tell you I massage her. There's no week I don't massage my wife. I massage her. So let's let's come back to church. Let's come back to church. <laughs> Okay. Then let's continue reading. What does he say? Likewise, must the deacons be grave, not double tongue. Unaona condition ya deacon ni minister or a servant of the Lord kama nyinyi. Anasema don't be double tongued. Usiseme hivi na unafanya hivi. Then anasema not be given too much wine, no greedy of filthy manzi kama kuna kitu inamalizaga anointing. Tamaya pesa. All right, twendele, twendele, twendele. Holding the mystery of the faith in a pure Have you noticed ministry and pureness of heart goes hand in hand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. And let this also first be So hapo ndio tulikuwa tunaenda. Kuna yenye inasema kama amplified, tuoneshe amplified hiyo verse. Inasema let them also be tried and investigated and proved fast. So pastor kikurezi na anakuchokora anafanya kazi yake. Mwenipata ni I am God has given me the responsibility if I'm raising you I can wash a light CV. Nikwambie watch on this. Watch on this. This is not nice. Cuz I'm raising you. Praise be to God. And that's what I've come to realize. If I don't raise people well the generations that comes when they mess up who will they say? The person that was supposed to raise us messed us up. Kana yeye amen. So mimi sinaga shida niki nikichuna mtu ahepe. Wewe hepa. But kazi yangu ni kukuchuna. Si ni ukweli? Hakuna yes. siku itakuwa sawa ati a married man akuja niambie pasi ninataka kuoa tena. Nimwambie eh hey, asanti sana juu unaleta tai. Wewe enda na hiyo tai yako. Yeah. Rules hapa ni you can't do that. Yeah. Praise be to God. Amen. He says what? And let them also be So it is pastor's prerogative to try people and investigate and prove fast then if they unaona Paul anaeka nif cuz wengine waenda he says if they turn out to be above so why does pastor test his leaders to bring them above bona sifwe sana my ministers and the ladies that are being raised in the house of the lord Don't do certain things that can compromise the gospel. Kwanza kitu moja ninaweza waomba sana, never omba mshirika money. Hata kama uko njaa. Unajua kuna njaa inakuongelesha unasikia tu mbona pengine Dobson kupea lift. Eh kwa Prado na unajua Prado inakuwa imenyamaza. Si kama hizi hizi utasikia unaweza muambia mdanganye muambie ah hiyo nadhani ni shock. Inalia. Unajua sasa yake huwezi muambia hivyo. Hata ukisikia akwambie he Kwani gari iko na shida unamwambia hapana hapana I was just speaking in tongues. Don't borrow wa shirika mani. You cannot borrow wa mshirika alafu usimame hapo u preach. Ah injili haitachukuliwa. Tuongee ukweli. Injili haitachukuliwa. Ministry yako imeanza kuenda nje. We have seen with my wife watu walikuwa wanaombana nguo nguo. Nguo atedoe. Na viatu. You're preaching with someone's shoes. Someone suit. Manzi sieta ile scripture ya 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 ya, ya David si kugonge. Mimi siwezi enda kwa vita na hizi vitu. Don't be above reproach. Can I hear better amen? Be what? Don't cancel a lady on your own. Oh, amuskiyo. 
Mary unafaa kuwa kusema amen hapa. Mary don't get to places that you're doing what what is that in music? Yeah. Vocals. Ali sasa umeamua ufanyie vocals kwako na uko uko na tu vijana tuwili. That's an appearance of evil. However you will try to tell us people don't see it that way. Na utakuja hapa useme lift up your hands wana, wow watu wanaanza kusema tunainua kwenye huyu ulikuwa umeinua. <laughs> May God help us in Jesus name. Praise be to God. And let them also be tried and tested. My pastor told me, go believe God for your finances. Go believe God. Don't short, short, uh, short circuit the gospel. Go believe in God. Praise be to God. Amen. And I thank God that you guys are blessed and you're doing wonders. I'm not sijawapiga risasi nasema tukae hapo na tuende juu. Si ni kweli? All right. Let's continue. Uh-huh. Uh, the Bible says, go to verse 14, verse 14 of the same text. These things I write to you. No, 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 no. Oh, sorry, sorry. Hapo kwenye ulikuwa, ulikuwa. Sorry, there's something we needed to see. There's something we needed to see. Ilikuwa ulikuwa umefika verse number 11. Verse 11. Turudi 11 hapo. Likewise. The women likewise. Tuendele. Kuna hii, kuna hii kene. Hebu soma hii. The women likewise must be worthy of and serious not these are women ministers inasema aje worthy of respect and serious tell a woman to you be serious muambie kuwa serious not gossipers but temperate and self you hear that thoroughly trustworthy in all things you know When we were being raised see it's good me to share story yangu sitakai ku share yenu ndio sema nilikuwa nika hapa wacha ni share yetu so when we were being raised together with my wife na the brothers and the sisters that i had in ministry uh, we will see all manner of characters it doesn't mean i'm i'm also good i had my own followers but we'll see all manner of characters kwanza yenye mimi ilikuwa inanishangaza sema kushangaza manze anniversary basi wame organize tutakula mbuzi tutakula hii tutakula hii so some of the ministers ndio wanasaidia ku orchestrate hizi vitu lakini wamechora sema kuchora chora basi amenunua 40 liters ya mafuta ya kupika wananyonga 20 wananyonga 20 wanaeka kando ngombe wamepita na mguu <laughs> jesus wamepita na mguu ya ngombe wamekatana katana atijua anapitia kwa ministry so basi atakuja aulize but we bought enough abcds we bought this we bought this asi wananyamaza wamekaa hivyo one time tell your neighbor one time basi alikuja ametoka prayer akatuambia you see these things that you guys are doing you will stagnate you will go around the mountain and you will never graduate praise god sasa hebu imagine naiba mchele ya kanisa hata ukikula jioni au sikii ngunyerere ngunyerere is greek for ngunyes au sikii ngunyes eh hey, una chills you don't feel ngunyerere mike where are you please stand up wewe ndio unakujaga home sana si ndio have you ever seen me watch tv with these tvs or hear music with these speakers eh huh? The day we got the laptop for projecting have you ever seen me using I am that disciplined because these speakers were bought by you guys Si ni kweli uli sacrifice Tuonge uli sacrifice ukajinyima ukanunua speaker Alafu sasa mimi naweka hapo ni Ha These things do you know these are not Dobson These are not normal speakers they are consecrated for the work of the ministry You don't touch them kana hiya bera amen i don't do it if i want a tv i'll buy for myself and this happens to be bigger than my tv lakini siwezi jiambia ah a laborer is worth of his wages wekelea tv zote mbili hapo he hivyo tu ndio unaanza kusongesha fans unasongesha fans unasongesha utajua lienda thank you praise be to god amen. hallelujah amen. so Paul anasema back now to verse 14 ndio nimaliza i think tutafikisha the fifth point alafu tutaendelea verse 15 anasema verse 14 anasema these things i write to you 
Though I hope to come to you shortly, but if I'm delayed, I write so that you may know how you ought to conduct yourself. Tuende hapo. But if I tarry long, that thou mayest know how to thou thou eh uh, thou is still young. But if I tarry long, thou that thou mayest know how but if i may delay i write so that you may know how you ought to conduct yourself in the house of god which is the church of the living god so kwa nyumba ya mungu atukujagi tu kiholela there are vitu kuna vitu tunafaa kufanya bwana asifiwe sana so if you are a hod rise above reproach if you are a husband if you are a aka omohas lead by example can i hear better amen look at a man next to you look at a man next to you tell them don't have a wandering eye angalia andrew anaangalia nje ya tent wewe tell tell that man don't have a wandering eye tell them tell them don't have a wandering eye praise be to god praise be to god can i tell you some other things that my pastor will say i miss my pastor na plan vile atakuja preach to, to enjoy ministry yake my pastor will tell us when we were single angetuambia you young guys you that are single where are the single guys akina jnr you jnr young single people if you feel like you want to touch something that's what you will say if you feel like you want to touch something go buy an avocado and touch the avocado <laughs> <laughs> that was good advice eh and then he will tell us if you are through with the avocados go touch your hairy self <laughs> eh his words were don't bring me stories praise be to god so you can imagine avocados and your hairy self you know praise be to god ladies ladies joy it is still fashionable to close shop Bwana asifiwe sana. It is still what? To do what? It is still what? Praise be to God. Amen. Lastly, lastly, lastly and then to pick up next Sunday. Let me see what I can share. Yes. Be content. In ya mwisho. Be content. Be content. First Timothy 66. First Timothy 66. Tosheka He says now godliness with contentment is great gain for we brought nothing into this world and it's certain we carry nothing out verse 8 tusome pamoja and having food and clothing with this we shall be content utosheke ehe unaona hao wenye wana desire kukua wadosi ni juu hawako na contentment sijasema kukua mdosi ni mbaya Nimesema ukidesire kuwa mdosi kuna noma tusome bible nasema aje but those who desire to be rich fall into eh uh-huh. and into many foolish and so unaona roda they are foolish and a harmful lust which draw men into destruction and perdition pastor wangu aliniambia as i conclude christians hawaokokagi matters pesa ikifika ni pesa wa Kristo waokokagi nina kuombea tunaweza kuwa na holy ghost meeting hapa uingie tu kwa mfuko hivi ukute kuna dhao holy ghost amepotelea hapo holy ghost we ukae hapo until i talk to you praise god and then he says what for the love of money is the root of all kinds of evil for which some have strayed from the faith so angalia what causes people to stray from the faith and the love of money, the love of money. he didn't say money is bad he said that, that unsearchable hunger for money and then he says what uh, from the faith in their what in their what greediness mlokole tunasema kupenda pesa hebu nioneshe kwa tumshow kwa kwa Kiswahili tusome kwa Kiswahili kutoka verse 6 the love of money my pastor kept telling me skizeni nimekama hapa chini pastor wangu mr bernard good see you my pastor alikuwa ananiambia hate money i never used to understand ikitu anasema nini 
He will tell me hate money, have have a hunger for have a hatred for money. Nashindua. Na si tunafaa tupate pesa ndio tupige injili. Ananiambia pana chukia pesa. And then he told me this statement, money should serve you. You should not serve money. Money should serve you. And then he told me, my own pastor told me, the way to kill greediness. Write this down. The way to kill greediness is to give. The way to kill hiyo greediness ni nini? Kwa Kiswahili? Ni tamaa. Ama si ni tamaa ni nini? Ulafi. Ulafi si gluttony. Tamaa ni nini? Okay, tuite tamaa. The way kuua tamaa ya pesa is to be a giver. Is to be a giver. Aya tusome, hakika dini ni pato kubwa kwa mtu kama Ehe, mnasoma kama ile hello children atakuwa nazo. <laughs> kwa maana hatukuleta kitu kwa dunia wala hatuwezi kurudia na kitu. Ehe. Basi vile t- tell your neighbor ukiwa na nguo na chakula tosheka usijipe pressure usijipe pressure did pastor say you stop dreaming i said don't usikae uko fixated na getting things unafaa understand watu wako kwa seasons tuonge unasikia andrew eh, the car you have god bless you cuz you're not walking kuna mwenye ana desire hiyo So kutot unasikia Mr. Francis anasema eh tamori gei there one eh ya ni men manze kama uko na TV ya 32 inch furahia hiyo TV wacha kujiwa na 85 inch unaingia kwa madeni atilipa pole pole utanyoroshwa who gives you a TV for a, an 85 inch TV with 4000 to pay every month kwani anatoa pesa wapi hata hajapata making yake makap yake ya kununua hiyo TV kwa mjanje ambia dijana yako kwa mjanje watch your 32 inch tv na uenjoy ruto haja change ruto wa 85 <laughs> praise god hapo anasema nini lakini wale kuwa watajiri wanaanguka katika majaribu na mitego na katika tamaa nyingi so kuna tamaa za upumbafu ehe mm. tuendele Sema mimi sitakuwa tumbukiza. Tuendele. Tuendele. Kwa maana unaona si pesa, kupenda fedha ni shina la mabaya yote. Kwa ajili ya kuzitamani watu wa, me, wa moja na wanajiumiza waki So Any person that follows after money they are always miserable. Am I you not is evil? Am I not is evil? Let me give you a clear test as a believer. Talk to me. A clear test of whether you're conquering money. How is your mood when you have money? Vis-a-vis how is your mood when you don't have money? If you're not constant, you're still work in progress. Can I hear an amen? Kuna wase manze hata ta kuprofesaia pesa ikiwa Oh my brother is good to see you. Ah oh, praise be to God. Oh you know I was remembering you the other time and the Lord was impressing in my heart just to love on you, you know, just to be there for you. Can we get some soup? Yes. The same brother when mwezi ko and pale kwa kona. Unakuja unamwambia wewe unasalimia nani? Kila mtu aende asalimie Yesu. <laughs> oh may you not may you not get into snares of money in Jesus name. Praise God. Twendele, to me nimemaliza. Twendele. Lakini wewe mtu wa Mungu. Unaepuka nini? The love of money. Ushikamane na haki, ibada, imani, upendo, uvumilivu. In the English he says but oh you oh man of God flee. Flee. Praise be to God. And you remember to next week tutaangalia Paul anasema in the last days men will be lovers of money lovers of pleasure more than lovers of god having a form of but denying from such run away don't pray you run 
Or like a Jamaican will say, you roan. Praise God. Now I close. I close with, uh, show us verse 17 and then we'll kwa Matthew 6, 24. Verse 17 of the same scripture. Command those who are rich in this present age. Tusaidie, tusaidie Jean-Claude. Uangazie wale wanaokuwa watajiri katika dunia hii ya sasa. Wasi jivunie vile vile. Wasi weke matumini yao wapi? Lakini wamtumainie Mungu. Sio wewe Ken unasema ti watumie Mungu. Eh hey, Ken. <laughs> Wafanye nini? Wamtumainie Mungu anaye kwa wingi kusudi to fry. So God gives you richly all things richly for you to enjoy. That's what the Bible is saying. So let's continue. Wakue watajiri katika matendo mazuri. Nao wasaidie kwa moyo safi na kushirikiana mali yao. Margaret said something on Sunday that I felt amelan. Margaret said, so when I go to work, when I earn money, it's not for me. <laughs> it's for other people. So graduate from that. Now una reporti job. See it unenda job for you. Unenda for other people. You are now graduating. You are now ready for the millions. Praise be to God. Amen. Now let's go to Matthew 6. 6.24. And then we are done. Matthew 6.24. And then you. Mumesoma kitu leo? Yes. Matthew 6.24. Inasema nini? Unaza tuonesha in English. And then tuta, tutaona kama tutapata time to say Jean Claude. No man can serve two masters. For either he will hate the one and love the other. Or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God. Mammon is what? Money. You cannot serve God and money at the same time. Moja itaumia. Moja itafanya nidi? Now look at me, people of God. I'm done. Look at me. You don't need money to achieve your, your goals. You don't need money. Money is a tool. Because some of us don't do what God has called us to do because we are saying, God nangoja pesa. God anangoja usonge. God anafanya nini? Anangoja usonge. Now, this scripture ikisema, no one can serve two masters. Yesu waliku anasema hivi Dobson. The same level what upenda pesa. Ndiyo the same level what upenda mungu. God akiangalia the, the only thing besides himself yenye ingelinganisho na service life yako, aliweka pesa. So, at every given day, there, there are two, do I call them deities, that are always fighting with your heart. Either God or Mola. So God in himself, ukisoma your story, tuendele, tuone vile atasema, tuendele. Therefore I say unto you, do not worry about your life, what you eat. Isn't this a function of people who are looking for money? They are always worried about Pastor Jasema usiende job please muni get Si Jasema road usiende kazi kesho nimesema find out why you go to that job Si ndio upate mshahara If you go to get a mshahara you're missing If you go to better people's life you're getting it He says therefore I say unto you take no thought of, of your life what you shall what you shall no yet for your body So hata body lotion iko hapo Mary all right, Wendele, what you shall put on, okay, what you shall put on is not the life more than meat and the body than raiment. Wendele, behold the force of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. And are you not such much better than they? Wendele, which of you, by taking thought, can add one cubit unto his stature? Ukiwori unaongezaga nyuele? Good. And why take ye thought for raiment? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow, they toil not, neither do they. Uh -huh. And yet I say unto you, even Solomon in all his glory was not a rain like one of these. Twendele? Wherefore, if God so close the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe ye, O ye of little faith? Angalia God anakuambia nini? Kama mnyama afikiria gizi vitu, we unazifikiria kwa nini? Why are they bugging you? If I were you, God is saying, I will be bugged by my work. 
Are souls being won? Are people coming to church? Tuendele, Mr. Francis. Tuone kitu hapa. 32. Oh, ni hapo tulikuwa? Ama nitiko wapi? Ni hapa. Therefore take no, no thought, saying, What shall we eat? Or what shall we drink? Or whither we, wherewithal shall we? So God ame kupatia blank check. Na tutakona ni kwa nini ya mekupe blank check. Tuendele. After all these things do the Gentiles. Gentiles in the New Testament are people who are not believing. So God through Christ anatuonesha the type of mtu wa dunia na mtu wa kanisa. After these things, which things? Nguo, perfume, magari, whatever. Sindio? They do what? They seek after. For your heavenly father knows you need a Range Rover. Oh, you're, uh, For your heavenly father knows you need a house. He knows. He knows you need a big screen TV. Senior. He knows you want to take you take your children where to Brayburn. Unajua ulienda Gogoto. Sasa waende Brayburn. Praise God. He says for your father knows that you have need of all these things. Check it. What's next? But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And the things you are pursuing are becoming an addition. Amen. Show us in the Amplified. That is why Mimi Roda and Mary and Dobson, God delivered me from certain things. I know if I seek ye first the kingdom, money has to follow me. Amen. I know for a fact. So I look for opportunities to be a blessing. Sidi ukweli? Because lazima to practice kenye neno inasema amplified inasema aje but seek aim at strive after first of all his kingdom and his righteousness what is righteousness his way of doing and becoming right and then all these things taken together will be given you did he say you pray for them talk to me did he say you pray for them he said what kama priority yako ni kingdom Easy if to gentiles wanatafuta wewe zitakufuata amen that's why we will have nice cars praise god praise god you will have a nice car amen umenipata roda tengeneza pesa nunua ploti but ukiweza prioritize mungu cause kuna kuna do you know you can spend favor as currency do you know that you can spend favor as currency baba tulia isi kuji i'm not trying to learn from my life i hardly stay without mpesa on my phone i hardly my wife ako hapa atakuambia and when money comes let me give you this illustration so yesterday i was chatting with somebody outside the country and they had told me oh they want to buy me a nice phone say a nice phone So kwa hiyo chat ju tulikuwa na my wife akauliza would you want cash or the phone nikamwambia nipe cash aliandika next akasema nini sikupei cash ju najua utapeleka church anajua system yangu jumia kinipe do tunaekelea ka bro kwani <laughs> kwani ni nini tunaeka hata kama ni nusu tunaeka ka akaniambia mimi najua utafanya hivyo so i will still get you the phone I told my wife even if the phone comes I will still sell it. Cool. I will sell my phone because you're a gift. I will sell my phone nikae na hiyo. Ndio asinishike of God aniambia na ile simu nilikufanyia. But you see at the end of the day my priority is the things of God. That's why I can't lack. That's why I can't what? You cannot beat God at giving. Write that down. You can never beat God at giving. You can't. You can't it is impossible can't it's impossible and cannot be You can't give you cannot beat God at giving awezi 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 Bwana sifue sana Nimemaliza Bwana sifue sana Nataka kuuliza what will you what in your lifetime will be a memorial of something you did for God Ken come here Bible ilisema David kwa ile story ya unajua Mr. Francis ile story ya Arauna. You remember Arauna and David. David alisema nini? I will not give God that which does not cost me. 
in your lifetime give god something that will cost you ile unaweza sumamisha kama memorial waambie mungu hata kukiwaaje let this be a memorial can i hear amen amen i will say things here because the holy spirit told me after nili saidia kujenga my spiritual father church ya nakuru the lord said when you go to your place i will be lit for you amen because there is a memorial Every time I need help I remind God remember I served faithfully I did A B C D wo uko na memorial wo uko na memorial praise be to God Amen. praise be to God ebo esta gabu ni kuulize si kwenye tutajenga cathedral hapa kukwe na msimuseme amen amen kukwe watu wanakuja wana wanashikanishwa hapa harusi kuna watoto wamebatizwa kuna tunafanya so many things na pesa yako ilitoka ufikirie ni memorial yeah. siku moja unaweza kuwa umeshikika mahali hizo ndio vitu grace zitaongelea watoto wako siku moja mtoto wako anezalia Mungu anakumbuka the mother did a b c d it stands as a memorial cornelius your prayer yeah. and your giving has come before me so giving is spiritual money is spiritual praise be to god Amen. i want you to stand up on your feet i'm done give me the anointing oil Mike jump on the keys there. We're going to do some some two worship songs. Today we are going to pray for the firstborns. Even if you are a firstborn, we are going to pray for you. Because as I was praying the last two days, the Lord began to impress in my heart the stories of the firstborn. Mume realize kwa familia moja unaweza pata firstborn anatandikwa sana. But the other siblings wako sawa. Sidio Dobson, unapata that bond you and support first born first born yendo alibeba mzigo first born yo like wakisema black sheep ni first born praise be to god Amen. yet we have an example of the first born called jesus christ yeah. when you god alisema this is my beloved son praise be to god yeah. ume notice changamoto ilikuwa na isaac the first born mm. ndio ilikuwa na abraham mm. na ndio ilikuwa na jacob They lied. They say their wives are sisters. Those are patterns. Praise God. And I believe with all of my heart that today as we pray for the firstborn, including me, I'm a firstborn, that God at a change pattern. God at a change pattern. Some of us ninaona tuko age age wise tuko pamoja matters watoto wetu wako in the same age. In the next five years watakuwa kitoka kwa mikono yetu. We need to pray that wakienda kwa hii dunia they will still honor God. Wao wao na God haitaisha 